Imagine if you had a magic pill. If you took that pill twice, or even once a week, in just eight weeks, you would gain big improvements in strength, muscle mass, bone density, and cognitive capacity. That pill is a centric exercise, which we perform when contracting with a load, but instead of shortening the muscle and lifting it, the muscle is stretched while actively resisting. But not everyone is able to take this pill. Eccentric exercise has been typically performed with intensities of over 100% of what a person can lift by forcefully extending the muscle. Sadly, those intensities are not feasible for those who would benefit the most, such as elderly, frail, or injured individuals. There is, however, an even more effective version of that pill with much lower intensity requirements. In our labs here at ECU, we have eccentric bikes that cycle backwards on their own and one has to resist this backwards rotation through thousands of revolutions. Those big volumes seem to be the key for huge adaptations, even in very low intensities. So what I am investigating is if lower intensities of eccentric cycling training, but of longer duration, differ in producing adaptations compared to higher intensities. By investigating a wide range of variables, such as bone density, strength, muscle size, architecture, and function, blood lipid profile, glucose control, as well as protein analysis through muscle biopsies, we will get a clear picture of how intensity or volume affect different aspects of our body. A passion of mine is exercise as medicine. I believe that one day doctors will prescribe exercise along with or even instead of medicine. Performing eccentric contractions is as ancient as we are, through rapidly descending or decelerating, yet stimulated less and less in our uh, modern world. Still, they seem to trigger pathways that evoke adaptations that we cannot uh, trigger in other ways, uh, no matter how much we exercise. What I want to devote myself in is to decipher how intensity, volume, or other parameters of exercise affect adaptations or regulatory pathways so we can activate them on demand. And who knows, maybe one day you may enter the gym and the bike will cycle backwards on their own. <laughs> Thank you.